Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Alex Smythe. Hi everyone. During this time, we wanted to check in with different organizations from the community, find out what they're doing and how they're helping clients in need. Today, I'm joined by President and CEO of Fighting Blindness Canada, Doug Earl, who's joining me from his home in Toronto. Doug, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. Thank you, Alex, for inviting me. Well, thank you for chatting with us today. Now, for someone who doesn't know, what is Fighting Blindness Canada and what does the organization do? Well, uh, Fighting Blindness Canada is the leading funder of vision research in the country. Uh, for 46 years, we've been investing in the brightest, most promising research grants. We've had over 200 research projects funded with over 600 discoveries advancing new treatments, uh, understanding the biology, uh, looking for ways that we can restore sight or avoid blindness. And we, we're running uh, programs like Young Leaders where we're providing unique services to young people to get to get to find a job. Now, I know Young Leaders isn't the only program you run. There's also the annual event in June, the Cycle for Sight, but you've had to make some adjustments due to the current pandemic. Can you tell me a bit about the adjustment and the plan for the event? Yes, well, th this has been an amazing uh, event. For 12 years, we've been running Cycle for Sight. It's, it's raised uh, about $4 million to support vision research. So it's very critical. Uh, and, and in these times where we can't get together uh, it's, and in, enjoy the outdoors and, and enjoy the, the exercise that, that helps uh, with our coping during the COVID period. Uh, this year, we're going to be running a national virtual event on uh, Saturday, June 20th, uh, where we're in inviting anyone. We've, we've broken down the physical barriers of participating in this event. We've also uh, broken down what you do. So some people may do their, do their exercise bike. Uh, we may know at, in some parts of the country uh, that you could actually go out and cycle uh, or take your tandem bike. Uh, or uh, we'll be running programming uh, with uh, yoga uh, and different exercise events. Uh, we're, we're expecting a million dollar gap in our ability to fund critical vision research this year. So, so I encourage people to join, encourage your friends and family to support you. Fantastic. AMI and Fighting Blindness Canada have collaborated on a series of videos featuring Dr. Anna Jurisic which cover various eye-related topics, but they make sure to use simplistic and plain language. Is that correct? Absolutely. And it's critical that people understand that they're able to uh, take, receive the information uh, in the easiest format that we can in the, and using the language that, that is easily understood so that they then can ask the questions of their medical professionals or the community resources. It's, it's absolutely critical and Dr. Jurassic does an amazing job. Doug, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks Alex and thank you for the time.